For Charles Reinhardt, teaching was always an aspiration. Raised in a hard-working family in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, he was reliable and responsible from a young age and quickly developed an interest in education and the well-being of children, which culminated into a rewarding career as a teacher that spanned more than 40 years. While in grade school, Mr. Reinhardt stood out. He was always eager to help his teachers and even took to riding his bicycle from one school to another to relay messages between faculty members. In the days before computers and fax machines, teachers relied on Mr. Reinhardt to serve as the delivery system for communication. Additionally, he was known for having a great speaking voice, a skill that would come into play later in life, and was often called on to announce school bulletins over the loudspeaker. Upon graduating from high school, Mr. Reinhardt pursued a formal education at Millersville University, where he obtained a Bachelor of Arts in 1968 and a Master of Arts in 1971. Soon after earning his first degree, Mr. Reinhardt was hired as a science teacher at Solango High School, a role he held for two years, from 1968 to 1970. He was subsequently hired at Columbia High School, excelling as a teacher of chemistry and physics from 1970 until his retirement in 2003, as well as the science department chairperson. Early in his teaching career, he accrued a reputation as an avid record collector and lover of the Beatles, so much so that one day, a student of his who worked at a local radio station, WGAL, suggested that he apply for an opening there as a disc jockey. He did, and was quickly hired at the station, presenting the news and playing music on the weekends from 1970 to 1976. Mr. Reinhardt further developed his talent for the medium at WQXA-FM, where he hosted and produced the popular Breakfast with the Beatles program from 1984 to 1988. In addition, Mr. Reinhardt wrote a monthly newsletter at Columbia High School titled Science Start for the teachers, principals, and faculty members in other county schools. Even after his retirement, he continued to enhance the institution, involving himself with many Columbia High School committees, including the Columbia Education Foundation, Tide Pride, and Columbia's Athletic Hall of Fame. He was also the school's public address announcer for football games and track meets. To further attest to the kind of man he was, after retirement, the school called him back to teach again due to staff shortage. Despite his long career, Mr. Reinhardt accepted with the children's best interests in mind. Mr. Reinhardt also found much success as a writer, authoring the books Jimmy Stewart on the Air in 2012, The Book of Beatles Lists in 1985, and You Can't Do That, Beatles Bootlegs and Novelty Records in 1984. Over the course of his career, he stayed abreast of his field as a member of the National Education Association, the National Science Teachers Association, and the Pennsylvania Education Association. In 2018, Mr. Reinhardt, the husband of Erna Elaine Weigel since 1967, father of two, and grandfather of two, passed away at 72 years old in his hometown of Lancaster. He will be remembered as an immensely smart, compassionate, and witty man.